Hi, I'm Bob Blaskowitz from SkepticalHumanities.com. Uh, this is my first YouTube video. I'm kind of excited to see how this works. Uh, here, YouTube is going to be very big. Um, I'm uh, replying to a video from a guy who calls himself Popeye on Federal Jack, uh, who responded to my most recent This Week in Conspiracy. Uh, this Week in Conspiracy is a weekly feature that I do uh, that allows me to keep track of uh, a lot of stuff that's going on online, which new conspiracy theories are cropping up, um, and just to keep a, a, a running tab on what's going on in the Internet um, for professional reasons. Um, I'm an academic. I write about conspiracy theories, um, and uh, this is one of my areas of interest. Um, but I'm mostly a writing teacher. Um, so Popeye says that, um, uh, that I have a debunking site. This is fundamentally inaccurate. Um, I don't have time to debunk everything that comes across my desk. Uh, I decided a long time ago that I was going to require people who are making extraordinary claims to provide extraordinary evidence ahead of time, and then I would look into it. Um, I don't have time to debunk every blurry photo of a UFO. I, I just don't have the time and resources, and honestly, there are very few people who I'm going to convince otherwise if, if they're really committed, so there's no real point in doing that. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, there are a couple of things he says that are, are just kind of inaccurate. Uh, he says I'm not a, pardon me, mere skeptic. Um, I think he, quote, might be a little more than that. I don't want to say what? I don't have 100% proof. You don't have 1% proof. You don't know anything about me at all. Um, if you know anything uh, about Susan Lindauer, he says, what I say is 100% bullshit. Um, quote, I know Susan. I can tell you I've interviewed her many times on my show. Susan was a CIA asset. And she was hung out to dry by the Bush administration to cover up their asses so they could invade Iraq. This is a bald assertion, and he doesn't offer anything other than, well, I've talked to her. Some people demand a higher level of evidence than just trusting someone. Um, and this is important. Um, I'm not willing to leave it at that, so I kind of went ahead and I, I looked up um, the case where she was... Uh, uh, and it was uh, in the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York, um, uh, United States of America against Susan Lindauer, a.k.a. Symbol Susan Defendant. Um, and uh, this is the procedural posture. Um, the defendant was charged with conspiring to act or acting as an unregistered agent of the government of Iraq and engaging in forbidden financial transactions with Iraq in connection to her alleged role as an agent of that government. The federal government moved for an order compelling administration of psychotropic drugs to render defendant competent to stand trial after she was found incompetent due to delusions of grandiosity and paranoia. Um, this, this is not me making this up. This is not me lying. This is court records. Um, uh, ultimately, they found that uh, the, the, the judge found that she could not be forced to take drugs in order to uh, stand trial. It just wasn't compelling enough. Um, and there are four criteria that are, are, are set out. Um, it's interesting to see what her defense lawyer said. Um, quote, Dr. Goldstein, the defense psychiatrist, was less tentative, dismissing as, quote, classic examples of grandiose variety. Her claims that she was, quote, a preeminent government operative who was not sufficiently appreciated and had contact with high-level government figures and was possessed of psychic powers. This is her defense lawyer. And if he's lying, then she should stand trial, obviously. So, yeah. Um, regardless, um, and her lawyer should probably be disbarred. Um, regard, but you can do this yourself. You can go online. I'll provide links. Um, but you can go, and I encourage you to, to look this up yourself and actually check these things out. Um, I was stunned that people were actually using her as like a star witness because she has like no credibility. 
Um, regardless, uh, then we go on to the stuff that uh, Popeye says uh, uh, relates to him. Um, one that I'm purposefully leaving things out. Um, I gave every story a link, and I do that all the time so people know that I'm not making this stuff up, that this stuff is in fact out there. Um, how providing links is not providing links, I don't know. Um, but regardless, um, a lot of the stuff that, that goes through Federal Jack uh, comes from other people who are not Popeye. I never assert that Popeye is responsible for everything. I guess I maybe assume that he signs off on what goes up on his website, but, you know, maybe not. Uh, regardless, um, my principal problem is that he says that uh, we live in a police state. Um, and he cites as evidence of this that a uh, uh, four-year-old girl, uh, her lemonade stand is taken down by a, by a cop. Instead of, you know, an entire town disappearing, which is what happens in police states. Um, if somebody from North Korea uh, heard you describe the United States as a police state, they'd probably punch you if they had the energy because all the high calorie food is going to the security apparatus. That's what happens in a police state and by comparing apples and tumors you're, you're debasing genuine suffering. I have issues with that. Um, at the same time, um, you know, at, at no point do I ever name uh, Popeye. Everything came through Federal Jack. Everything. I get the Twitter feed. Most of my stuff comes through Twitter. Um, so, stop sending out stupid things. There you go. Um, but regardless, um, he says that he's called me out several times, and he knows that I've listened. I had no idea. Never listened to your show wrong. Um, but I did get a tweet um, on the 29th of June that said, Bob, you're either ignorant or paid to be such a tool. I challenge you to a debate on air anytime, put up or shut up. Um, again, why would I take that seriously? Um, when a real news source um, contacts someone, they, they don't, you know, act like a dick. They're, they're professional, and that's not what this is. And I have nothing to gain by being on your show. Um, and, you know, the way you kind of frame it after that is you, you, call me, you say that I'm being a jerk-off or, or a liar. Um, uh, but then you say that there will be no ad hominem attacks. You lack credibility. Um, on top of that, you know, you worry about, you know, well, if the professor... Um, were to come out in favor of truth, trademark, um, that, you know, like Stephen Jones did, that he'd have his, quote, ass handed to him. Um, yeah, that's not exactly how it happened with Stephen Jones. You can go and you can look at his, uh, you know, what was happening in the press, um, student press and other sources, local sources, about his, uh, uh, the controversy surrounding his, uh, uh, his work. Um, in fact, he chose to retire instead of allowing uh, his peers to review his work. Um, and he said, and this is a quote, that he felt pretty chipper about the uh, retirement settlement, and I believe he's still emeritus, um, either at Utah or Brigham Young. I forget which one he's at. That's not the story of a victim, and if he's playing that angle, well, you can go look this up for yourself. Um, so, just to, to, to reply um, to, to the challenge, um, I'm never going to think about this again. Um, I will not be on your show and have no interest in being in your show whatsoever. Um, a major part of that has to do with, you, you mentioned that I went to the, the Richard Gage thing here in Atlanta, um, and you say that I was the only person, maybe ever, to 
disagree with or should not be convinced by Richard Gage. That's not exactly true. If you look at his website, he keeps a list, and I'll link to it, um, of, of the number of people who showed up um, and what their positions were at the beginning. And of about 180 people, if I remember correctly, all but 12 of them already agreed with him. I may be the only person who's ever gone who had a modicum of skepticism about what he had to say. I'd put that on a CV. I'm proud of that. Um, so if you want to engage in a debate with me, I'm sorry. Um, your, your audience, to whom I would presumably be uh, speaking to, uh, has made their position very clear on your YouTube page. Um, uh, Bob is... Uh, uh, would taunt bigger kids uh, than himself when he was growing up just so he could get his ass beat. He did this to feel something. I'm sure his family hates him. He's a chronic masturbator due to the fact that hookers won't engage in activity with him. He's most likely a has a pillow girlfriend he calls mom, very classy, so as to remember his many molestations. Um, a, uh, I just went to Skeptical Humanities, a Jewish Sayanim site. I just learned what that word means. And liberty for all, you're a horrid person, and you should be ashamed of yourself. Um, and so, I, you know, when it when it comes right down to it, you can come to my talk at DragonCon, which will be there will be a conspiracy theory panel. Um, you're more than welcome to go to DragonCon. It's a great time, um, and talk to me there. Um, but I'm not going to appear on your show because neither you nor your audience has earned it. 